How to look up forms in the ASP.NET web interface. This is a short overview that depicts how to use the form lookup feature in the ASP.NET web interface. To begin, we are going to assume that 1. 1099 Pro Corporate Suite has already been installed. 2. The ASP.NET web component has been set up on your company's intranet, which is a website that is accessible only when you're on your company's internal network. 3. Your user has been given access to the ASP.NET web component. The form lookup feature is designed to look up tax forms based off your search criteria across the entire corporate suite database. That means that this feature can look up tax forms across different form types and tax years all at the same time. The form lookup feature also provides the ability to limit the range of your search by variables such as form type, tax year, payer code, recipient TIN, recipient account, and or recipient name. This gives you the ability to be as broad or as specific as you would like. Once you complete your search, the matching tax forms are returned to you and you are able to view, edit, or print the data, all of which is subject to your security access level. Now that you have an idea of what the form lookup feature does, we are going to show you how easy it is to use. Please go to your company's established website to access 1099pros ASP.net. Now, in the left-hand column, under the Forms and Printing category, click on the double arrows to expand the section. Then, click on Form Lookup in the submenu that appears. A new section will open up on the right-hand side with all the Form Lookup search criteria. To begin, you can limit your search to generate results for specific form types. Otherwise, you are able to use the Check All button to have the search look across all form types that are in the software. Next, you may enter in your specific search criteria in the fields to the right. You are only required to complete a single search field, but are able to use multiple fields at the same time if you have more exact criteria. There are three main categories that you can use when searching. One, the first category is called Select Search Field and allows you to choose the field or fields that you can search by. Two, the second category is called Select Operator and allows you to select how you want to search the fields you chose. For instance, Equal is the most popular and means that you are looking for an exact match. However, you may end up searching with other operators, such as the Ends With Operator. If you only have the last four digits of someone's TIN, Taxpayer Identification Number, and don't have the Complete Number, you can use this operator. Three, Lastly, the third category is called Enter Search Criteria and is where you are able to type in your search criteria. A field will be considered active if you enter or type any information into it. If you leave the search criteria field blank, the field will be considered inactive and won't be used when looking for tax forms. If you have multiple search criteria fields being used at the same time, the software will require that all the search criteria is met, not either or. This is the equivalent of stringing search criteria together with AND instead of OR. For our search, we will search for a specific account number by entering AC-05 in the account search criteria field. We are looking for an exact match, so we will leave the operator on equal its default selection. Now, to start the search, click on the search button with the magnifying glass. Alternatively, you could press the clear button with the green arrow next to it if you want to clear all your search criteria and start with a clean slate. For now, click on the search button with the magnifying glass. The software will now display all available tax forms across all form types and tax years which match the search criteria of having an account number of AC-05. Sometimes there may be too many results for you to work with. If that is the case, you are able to refine your search further by adding additional search criteria and searching again. In our case, we are only interested in tax year 2018 1099-R forms, so we can enter the 2018 tax year search criteria field and update the form selection to only include the 1099-R form type. Now that we have refined our search criteria to be more specific, we can click on Search again and the new results will be displayed. You will see that at the top of each column there is a header for each field. If you would like to sort the list to an ascending or descending order, just click on the header you would like the list to be sorted by. For instance, you can go to the Recipient Name column and click on the header. You'll see that the recipient name will switch to a descending order. 
Click on the column header again and the recipient name will switch to an ascending order. Now that you have the results of your search, you can click on the tax form of choice to highlight it and then select between the three available options of quick print, custom print, or change. One, quick print gives you the ability to print out a copy to your local printer, to print to PDF, or to email a password protected PDF of the form. Two, custom print gives you the ability to print the tax form to a custom layout. This is only available if you have this option enabled and have worked with 1099 Pro on a customized layout. Three, finally, Change gives you the ability to open the form to view, edit, or correct the information depending on what IRS status the form is in. That's it. That concludes our demo of the form lookup feature in the ASP.NET web interface. Thank you.